Hello and good morning, Dr. Craig and classmates. I hope you are all doing well. This morning, I'm going to share my chosen research paper related to my program, which is Master of Arts in Sociology. Before I critiqued the, this research paper based on the lesson or discussions last October 8, 2022, I will first show the research title and also the contents of this thesis paper. This thesis paper is entitled Protective Factors Against Dating Violence, Perpetration, and Victimization by Megan L. Konitzer, a thesis presented to the Faculty of Graduate College at the University of Nebraska in partial fulfillment of requirements for the degree of Master of Arts in Sociology. So this or this thesis paper, there is a slight difference between the information provided on the title page of, again, this thesis paper and the thesis paper published here in the Philippines. Because most of the thesis in the Philippines do not include the professor's name, only the researcher's name and the date it was completed. Let's proceed to the next slide. The data were gathered in the 2013 to 2014 academic year at two large public universities in the United States, one in the Midwest and one in the Southeast. Both universities are public land-grant institutions with undergraduate em environment ranging from 20,000 to 25,000 students. The researcher also mentioned the racial composition at both locations during data collection and it was approximately 80% white since her thesis also include the race of the respondents. Now, the descriptive statistics for college and men are presented in Table 1. Overall, 45% of women reported perpetrating dating violence compared to 34% of men and this difference was significant. In terms of dating violence victimization, 39% of women reported this experience compared to 35% of men and this difference was marginally significant. None of the other dichotomous variables were significantly different between women and men. For continuous variables, uh, as what you can see at the bottom portion of Table 1, results show that apart from lower entitlement, which was marginally significant, all the remaining variables were significantly different from women and men. That is, women reported significantly higher levels of both maternal and paternal relationship quality compared to men as well as greater religious attendance and religious influence. And also women use more BPS compared to men when it comes to drinking. Finally, women reported that their close friends consume less alcohol compared to reports and have lower alcohol expectancy than men and also lower levels of he heavy drinking than men based on the again table in other words women have more protective factors compared to men now based on my observation using the knowledge gained from the discussion on october 8th this thesis paper considered the representations of numbers or values, as values would be meaningless without a description. However, instead of having the interpretation, the analysis or textual presentation or textual interpretation, Following the table, this thesis paper has it before the table, perhaps because this research paper sample was not published in the Philippines, the format is different. Another thing to notice is that because the data is in a tabular format, the table number and title are at the top. And based on 
bivariate results and textual uh, interpretation, the researcher selects only the table's highlights. Now, in presenting the data, we are not always going to present the data in a table. We can also present the data in a variety of formats, including graphs. And in this paper, the researcher also include graph for figure 1 and 2. The interaction, this is for figure 1, the interaction for gender and the amount of alcohol friends drink on dating violence perpetration. Now, result indicate or indicated that females have a higher probability of perpetuating dating violence when their close friends drank more than six drinks compared to having friends who do not drink alcohol. In contrast, the amount of alcohol close friends drink does not have as much of an influence on males' perpetration of dating violence. Additionally, when both males and females have close friends who do not drink alcohol, their probability of perpetrating dating violence is similar. Now, the second interaction that was significant was for gender and religious influence predicting the probability of experiencing dating violence victimization as displayed in figure number two. This is second graph. Results indicated that religious influence was more protective for males and less protective for females. That is, females had a higher probability of being victimized as result influence increased while males had a lower probability of being victimized as reports of religious influence increased. Overall, these results highlight the important role that religious influence can have on protecting against dating violence victimization, particularly for men, as what uh, this figure to uh, data presented. Now, um, Based on my observation, it is absolutely necessary to label the values on the y and x axis. And based on the data and graph presented, the researcher indicates the values of the x and the y axis. So it's, um, it's understandable. Uh, the audience or the reader can uh, interpret the data clearly because, again, of the given values or description now it is a must since again values would be meaningless without a description so again we must consider what the representations of the values or values are that would be all thank you